Hello everyone. Question number 14 is find two rational number between 2 root 3 and root 15. So when we talk about 2 root 3, it can also be written as under root of 12. Because 2 can be written as under root of 4 and under root of 4 multiplied by under root of 3 will become under root of 12. While this is under root of 15. When we talk about any rational number between the two, that means we want a number which is a perfect square. So after 12, the first perfect square is 12.25, which is a perfect square of 3.5. So 12.25 is the first rational number which is possible. Under root of 12.96, this can be another number which is a perfect square. So we have to actually understand that this is the square of 3.5. So, and this is the square of 3.6. So, all the numbers which are basically the perfect squares are and in the form of under root are known as rational numbers. If in case the question would be find to irrational number, so instead of 12.24 which is a perfect square, I can write 12.23, 12.24, 12.26, 12.27, all these numbers are between them. Question number 15 is insert an irrational number between root 5 and root 7. Now, when we to talk about irrational number, we understand that under root 5 and under root 7 are themselves the irrational numbers because they are not the perfect squares. In between them, if there is any under root which is not a perfect square, is definitely irrational. So, root 6 can be treated as an irrational number between root 5 and root 7, but there can be infinite numbers between the two. Question number 16 is insert two irrational number between root 3 and root 7. So when we talk about root 3 and root 7, so there are numbers in between the two can be root 4, root 5, root 6, or root 6.1, root 5.1, root 4.2, 4.3, 4.4. But we understand that 4 is a perfect square. So this is a rational number. As we have already discussed that in the under roots, whenever there is a perfect square, that is rational. And definitely this and this number are irrational. Here we have to write two irrational numbers which are these two. If in case we have any problem, you can contact us or email us. In the next class, we will talk about exercise 1.4 onwards. Thank you.